Shalom, shalom, brothers. Brother Kamama Har here, back at it again. First thing first, we give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, and Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders learning the true ground from DMS. Blessing to the Akima Dare preaching his word with whole heart, true sincerity. Blessing to the 144,000 and one third entirely, the first fruit kingdom of heaven. House of David, the Biaf Dawada. And shalom to brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom to you, brothers. So, um, so what's going on, brothers? Man, I wanted to, you know, through the spirit. Through the spirit, we want to bring the video up on you know that uh the 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 ways of our going is not of ours, man. You know everything we do, everything everything that we flow, you know how we move in our day to day. Brothers going to highways and hedges, putting up videos, or even for a, you know you know a two third or, or or deaf or however it goes, you know a man's goings is of the Lord. You know even the hearts of the kings as well. You know uh, what's that one precept I just um. The Lord, um, Salaki, hold on for a second. Uh, uh, I think I probably, okay, hold on. I just had that. Yeah, the Lord gave the instruction. What was that? Uh, um, maybe, uh, Salaki, brothers, uh, when... Like give of give give gift of instruction. Psalm sixteen. I just had it. There we go. Job thirty three fifteen. Um, let me bring that out first because um, you know, just want to you know drive the point. I'm gonna bring some precepts out, and um, I brought this out before. Uh, but you know everything we got going on, Lord willing, and Lord willing, I can get with my brothers later on today. To uh, you know, do the do the work of the Lord, prophesy the downfall of the wicked kingdom, and um, you know, and it's an honor to do. You know what I'm saying? It's one. It's the greatest work. It's the greatest work you can put yourself into, or the Lord can put you into. Because remember it uh, in John 15, 16. I have to bring it out. It said the Lord doesn't choose. Uh, you don't choose the Lord. The Lord chooses you and ordain you to get to, to bring forth fruit. So you know, you ordain in this thing to do it. So if you if you're out in the highways and hedges and you are putting these videos up and the spirit is on you to. to to know the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and actually do the work of the Lord, you was ordained to do that, and the Lord chose you to do that, which is a great honor, you know. So, um, um, but hey, at the end of the day, though, this is not of our own. Um, this is this is predestination as well, and the Lord, the Lord set up the prophets. Subject, the spirit of the prophets are of the prophets, and um, everything that goes on on a day to day life is governed by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and however you move. <laughs> Yahweh is the ultimate director. It says, uh, Job 33 and 15, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instruction. See? See that? See how it is? Uh, that, that, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man, right? So, um, I believe I, uh, one of my brothers was just telling me, I think that uh, free will itself was definitely created by man uh but it was uh but it i mean shoot in a 19 somethings it was some date where free will actually was created by man once you once you know that a man got his hand on it it's a wrap and so you're like oh all right so it, it, it's it's now uh unbelievable now and got to be cast to the side because everything is spiritual you know everything is spiritual and of, of your habashim yabashah you know, so all that free will, or whatever, the Lord got to set up to where, like right here, like it could be anybody. It could be, you know what, hey, you're going to go to your typical spot around three o'clock or, you know, you're going to meet up with this person. Somebody's going to bump into you. It's going to slow you down for a couple minutes and then you're going to walk out, walk outside and get hit by a straight bullet. Or or it can be even even better, which I would rather prefer. You know, hey, the same scenario, and next thing you know, you bump into some to some brother who had Israelite book in his hand, and he, and then next thing you know, you were set up to edify the brother on Israelites because he just now finding out what it's about, and you know all about it. So the Lord knew you was perfect for the job for that moment to to, to teach his brother and break that bread. It's all created. The man's goings is not his own, man. 
and and it, and it's just that thorough too. It could be just like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I be driving Lyft sometimes, and next thing you know, I ran into a a a a, a, a gentile foreigner. Man, I, I brothers, I'm telling you, man, the Lord had to had to set up. I I I pretty much like was driving in driving in the car, and this uh, so called looking Edomite looking looking brother. Um, he was definitely a Jake too. The spirit was the spirit bear witness. So I, I I was talking to him. I mean, shoot, brothers, he had. I mean, he had he had an Edomite look to him, but he he came in the car, he came in the car, and then he was like, he had these fresh new sneakers, and he asked me, hey man, you think I can lace these up in here or whatever? I said, yeah, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? So he, he ain't had the patience to wait where he was going. He wanted to do whatever he wanted to do in the car, and he was basically looking at his sneakers, and he was like lacing them up with some swag, and then not to mention the brother said he was from Jersey, but he sound like. A person from Philadelphia, like brothers, be like, "Yo, what's up with this one jaw or a boy drawn or, you know, the slang that brothers use." There's a certain uh, flow and a certain frequency that brothers speak when you when you're from Philly. And he was from Jersey, but he spoke the same language. And I'm sitting there like, "Yo, what's up with him? Like, this is not this is weird." And so I was like, "Man," so we got to talking. And next thing you know, next thing you know, um. I had to do it. I said, brother, where are you from, man? What's your nationality? He was like, yeah, my mom Irish and my pop Italian. I said, oh. I said, from what from what side, north or south? He said, yeah, from south. I said, oh, shit, brother, more than likely, yo. And then he was hitting me with the whole Muslim thing. And so I hit him with, I hit him on the outskirt of the Lord had it set up to where I had it, I, like I was basically edifying him about Muhammad and I was edifying him about where it came from, what was first, the scriptures in the Quran. And the brother's spirit was just so stuck to it. He actually, um, I was supposed to drop him off and he's supposed to get out my car so I can go to another customer. But the Lord had it set up where I stood there for another 45 minutes to an hour edifying him about Israelites. And he knows about the Italians from Sicily and how the, the uh, so-called Negroes ran the situation. I'm like, yo, I've never met an Edomite. No, every time I met an Edomite with swag like that, with a, with so much salt, like salt that's beyond, like there's no way he got that much salt or whatever. He said he had no problem uh, uh, picking up Israelite women and also his whole life he gravitated towards the so-called Negro culture rather than Edomite. So like, he was always around, you know, Negroes all the time rather than be Edomites. Say, he a Jake. He a Jake. Like he was a Jake. And, I, 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 and, and I, my spirit told me to edify him and I did. And Lord willing, that was fruit. But like I said to you, how 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 did I know that was gonna go down like that? Like wow, like just so happened one lift drop, one lift drive turned into edifying a brother on the side of the road. You see what I'm saying? I was meant to do that. Like that was all set up by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashmi man. And that's what I'm trying to get. You know, that's my point in my video, man. Hey, like you just the way things are set up, like you gotta play things out and worry about you know each second that come in the moment. And there it go. You know, and like and like and, and like 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 uh like the scriptures say, what manner of holy conversations, man? You know, a lot of times our, our conversations need to be in the in the scriptures. You know, I know we might pull off and speak to other jakes and talk about something different. You know, but 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 our mindset need to be on prophecy, and and pray to the Lord the faith is on you to to be able to stay spiritual uh continually, man. You know, um, I, I wanted to talk about that little uh that 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 was a nice little situation. Um, you know, I wanted to, just a little testimonial, but that's the point. You know what I mean? Like this thing is set up by the heavenly father, man. I, I didn't even know that was going to go down like that. I didn't plan on that or nothing. It was just like, damn, uh, Jeremiah 10 and 23. It says, um, Oh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh I know that the way of man is not in his, is on his, is not, is not in himself, but it says it is not in man that walketh to direct his steps, right? See that? Like, yo, like judgment, edification, even 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 going to the gym, driving in a certain path. Like this could be set up to where the Lord protecting you or getting you to avoid you from situations that you didn't even know about you about to get yourself into. I mean, this is all the Lord guides the steps, man, through his angels, man. Yo, this is it's out here like that. And only a spiritual man with the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahabashim Yahushai will understand that. And know that there's no such thing as free will. Like, like we don't like every like I blame everything on the Lord. I, I, I was I was 
laughing with my brothers the other day. I blame everything on the Lord. We would last week we wanted to go out and have hobbies and hedges. Um, I think it was the week prior, and um, we couldn't get down there to save our life, man. Rain was just super thunder, lightning. It was just the time frame we would try to do it. It was like it, it just wouldn't work out, so we canceled or whatever. We felt some type of way about it. But when I got back with the brothers, I said, "Listen, brothers, man, this is of the Lord, man." Like, you know, we got to remember, like, it wasn't meant to be. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the Lord wanted us to rest ourselves for soul because we was, we, we weekend, week out, weekend. No, we ain't missed no Saturday. But our little typical uh, weekday Jones or whatever, we, we, we get it in. And so the Lord didn't let us out that, that, that week. That could have been some for a good reason, you know? And I said, listen, brothers, this is of the Lord. Like, the Lord, it, the Lord had us set up to where we ain't go out that week. Straight up like that. They was like, you know what? You're right. And, and that's how brothers got to think. Like, to every slightest degree, to every second, to every movement of if you saw a spider, I don't want to go too low corny, but, you know, where you sitting or how it works or you, you need to be in a certain place that you was late or you was on time. It's of the Lord. You know, it, it, it's what it is, man. You know, like um, um, like one of my favorite precepts is in Proverbs, the third chapter. Um, it's like around 24 to 26. Uh, it says, um, yep, Proverbs 3 and 26, it says, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. And, it, and there's, a, there's another one that says, um, right, but then in the day though, that's, that's still, that's still, um, on the same path because when, when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is, is with you, you know, he's going to make your steps, um, you know, um, it's going to keep from being taken. And that's guiding the path for you through righteousness and keeping you safe. Um, it might have been David on this one. Um, you know what? We still want money. Call all your high bashing Yahweh Shah. Proverbs 3 and... Um, because this is when the Lord talking about keep the, the wisdom and knowledge in your mind. So, you know what, 19 it says, The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, by understanding hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let, let not them depart from thy enemies, I mean, I mean, from thy eyes, which is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Uh, keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Then shall... Thou walk in thy way safely, and thy sh and, and thy foot shall not stumble. You see that? So, so whenever you you actually following the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, you doing to your best of your your best the best of your degree, and you actually doing your thing. The Lord gonna make sure your steps is cool, you know. And it's all set up because the elect is gonna be the elect. Lord willing, could be a part of that number. But like I, I like I told my brother, we can't reserve. Um, we you know we just gotta wait and see. And just keep on having trust in the Lord. But it's looking real good. When brothers are sincere in this thing, I always tell brothers, it's looking pretty good. When your diligence and your faith is so strong, to, or or the faith that it was given to you, that's a gift, is being used and it's properly balanced. It's looking pretty good, man. You got to pray the Lord. You, you endure to the end of this thing, you know. Um, but even, uh, even um, you know, like I said, the hearts of the kings, too. You know, whenever you see movements of of war going on or China's making a move or Russia is making a move or however, like weapons are being being built or things of that nature. It's, it's the ways of the goings of the Lord, like Proverbs 21 and one. It says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turn up it whatsoever he will. Right. See that? Like, yo, like if Russia or Iran shoots a bomb over here or there or. Any type of war has been going down. And armies are in place to do whatever. The Lord is the ultimate. Matter of fact, Exodus 15 and 3. The man, the Lord is a man of war. So being a man of war, you're going to do war-like situations and decisions making them. You see what I'm saying? And whenever you see these things happening around the world, it's of the Lord that put the put the put the spirit and and these and these and these kings, man. These presidents, these senates, these governments or whatever. The Lord put a spirit on him to make that move so he can further prophecy. And shoot, we can get the fuck up out of this thing, man. Or willing to be the share, man. I like how Apostle Gabar talk about that. Like, 
Lord willing, could be this year and early next year. You know what I'm saying? That's a great mindset. I love that. I really do. You know? So, it's, man, it's a beautiful thing, man, to have this wisdom and knowledge, brothers. But, um, hey, the Lord guides our steps, man. Uh, what's that? Uh, oh, we in 2024. Right. Boom. Right here. Proverbs 20 and 24. Here we go. It says that man's goings are of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushah. How can the man then understand his own way? You don't understand your own way. No, you don't. People, you know, when you don't have this knowledge, you think you do, but you don't. You have no idea why you was where you was or how it went down or for the reason that why the Lord set you up to have what you have or be in a position that you got or to die in the way you did or to how in the world I get in this elevator and if, all kinds of crazy shit. I'm driving the point, brothers. The Lord is in control of all of this. And this is the Lord's movie. We just got to play it out. Lord willing, we can endure. You know, and the Lord keep driving us to go in the highways and hedges. Put these videos up to feed the brothers. You know, feed the sheep, edify the brothers, man. And 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 to, you know, and edification means, you know, means build up, man. You know, when I watch other brothers' videos, you know, the water you have about shop putting the spirit on me to want to watch the brothers' videos, to be edified, to keep my mind stable, to keep my mind pondered on the on the scriptures, man. Because you can you can you can flat out. The Lord could put a spirit on you, like David said, please don't take thy Holy Spirit away. You can just be all, you can just like, don't care no more. That shit, scary as shit, brothers. But, the Lord Dylan, and Thwada Yahab Bashim shot for it, man. And hey, we in this thing because the Lord set us up to be that way. So, Aparat Desire, Lord willing, this is edifying to you, brothers. You know, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh by Shem Rakak Wadash. Yahweh, he is to be exist by Shem the name, and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, by Shem the name. And the Holy Spirit, of, uh, no, by Shem in, uh, um, in the name, Rakak with Dash. And um, so like it, brothers. Yahweh, he is to be exists by Shem in the name, and the only begotten, the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, by Shem in the name, and the Holy Spirit of Rakak with Dash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, I learned this truth from GMS. Blessings to Aki Madera preaching his word with whole our true sincerity. Blessings to the 144,000 and one third entirely. The first fruits kingdom of heaven, House of David, that we have that would die. And Shalom to you, brothers out there speaking in different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom to you, brothers. And I also just found out there was a, a GMS, um, uh, there's a GMS um, camp in um, Saudi Arabia. That's phenomenal. Call Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shah for that because that's what I mean by uh, brothers that speaking in different tongues, looking in different nations, and still and still calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and also putting on videos. It's phenomenal. Shalom, brothers.